Assalamu alaikum, peace be on you. You've probably all seen the video, Muhammad Hijab on the streets of Toronto, arguing with a young Ahmadi Muslim man. I'm going to get straight to the point. Muhammad Hijab in this video dramatically exposes his ignorance of Islam and Arabic. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. You see, one of the main theological contentions between Ahmadi Muslims and Sunni or Shia Muslims is that they say we have violated the meaning of the term Khatam al nabiyin that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him, is the seal of the Prophets. A major argument they often use, and which Muhammad Hijab also uses in this video, is that a variant reading of this term, according to the various Qiraat of the Qur'an, is that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is Khatim al nabiyin In this, Muhammad Hijab has a point. Khatim al nabiyin is a legitimate variant reading of the verse. You see, Khatam al nabiyin means seal of the prophets. Khatim al nabiyin according to Muhammad Hijab at least, means last of the prophets. Using this argument, he tells the Ahmadi Muslim in his video that the, he doesn't understand the Qur'an and that he has left Islam by accepting Ahmadiyyat on the basis of ignorance of the Arabic language. He argues that by accepting His Holiness Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, peace be on him, as a prophet of God, we have violated the term Khatim al nabiyin and therefore cast ourselves outside of Islam. But is Muhammad Hijab right? Does Khatim al nabiyin mean the final prophet or last of the prophets? No. So what does Khatim al nabiyin mean? Khatim has the measure in Arabic of ism fail, which means the doer of an action. In the same way Hamil in Arabic means the one who carries a thing, or Shair means the one who recites poetry, Khatim literally means the one who finishes a thing. So the term Khatim al nabiyin means the one who finishes the prophets. And it is the Sunni and Shia Muslims who have violated this term, not Ahmadi Muslims. You see, there are only two ways that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, could have finished the prophets, physically or spiritually. There is no third option. Ahmadi Muslims believe that he was the finisher of the prophets in both senses, whereas Muhammad Hijab and other non-Ahmadi Muslims don't believe in either. And I'm going to prove it to you. But what does it even mean to finish prophets physically? The Prophet of Islam, peace be on him, didn't go around literally finishing off previous prophets. It can only mean that he appeared at a time when all previous prophets had died. In this sense, his coming into the world occurred at a time when no other prophets existed. In this sense, he physically finished past prophets. Contrary to this, however, Muhammad Hijab and other non-Ahmadi Muslims believe that Jesus, peace be on him, was bodily taken into heaven while alive at the time of the crucifixion, and he is waiting to return to the earth in the latter days of the world to fulfill the prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Narrated in Sahih Bukhari, for example, what will be your condition when the son of Mary appears, and he will be your imam from among you. In another narration, again, in Sahih Bukhari, it is stated, and I swear by the Lord who holds my life in his hands, that the son of Mary shall surely appear among you as a just arbiter, and shall break the cross, annihilate the swine, and abolish jizya. And then in a third narration of Ibn Majah, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stated, That Ummah can never die, which has me at one end, and the Messiah son of Mary at the other. So in this sense, Muhammad Hijab doesn't believe that the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him, was the literal finisher of the Prophets. Here was a test case that the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him, failed in, according to Mr. Hijab. Physically speaking, Jesus was alive at the time of the Prophet's birth and alive at the time of the Prophet's death. So the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him, did not finish him physically. In the spiritual sense too, Muhammad Hijab doesn't believe that the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him, was the finisher of the Prophets. After all, Muhammad Hijab believes that the prophethood of Jesus, peace be upon him, that he received by following the law of Moses, independently of following the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, independently of following Islam, and independently of following the Qur'an, will illuminate the world when he returns in the latter days. This is the natural consequence of Mr. Hijab's belief that he cannot avoid. Will God strip Jesus, peace be upon him, of his prophethood before he returns to the world? How can that be? When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in Sahih Muslim, refers to Jesus, peace be upon him, as a prophet of Allah four times in one hadith. Perhaps Muhammad Hijab says, 
that God will give Jesus a new prophethood, separate to his previous prophethood, one that enables him to teach the Qur'an and teach the Sunnah of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Well, that in itself would be tantamount to a new prophethood after the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him. After all, Jesus taught the Torah and the Injil, and only to the children of Israel. In fact, the Qur'an explicitly declares Jesus, peace be on him, as only a prophet for the children of Israel. He is a Rasulun ila Bani Israel, chapter 3, verse 50. So if both his teaching changes from the Torah and Injil to the Qur'an, and the addressees of his message change from the children of Israel to the whole world, then apart from that contradicting the verse I just quoted, it would also be tantamount to possessing a new prophethood. What would be left of his previous one? This is the Sunni and Shia position. How could the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, be the finisher of the prophets when he did not finish Jesus, either physically or spiritually? The Ahmadi Muslim position, however, is to accept both. Physically, we believe that all prophets, including Jesus, were physically dead before the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His coming heralded the end of all previous independent prophets. So that takes care of the physical aspect. From the spiritual aspect, we believe that all prophets previous to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were rendered redundant by his coming, since his teaching and his prophethood encompassed all of them and all of their teachings. After all, what is the point in drawing light from a light bulb when the house is flooded with light from the sun? The son of Muhammad, peace be upon him, has risen, but Mr. Hijab wants to keep the lights on still. Ah, Mr. Hijab will say, but you don't believe that the Prophet Muhammad finished all prophets physically and spiritually. Because you believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is a prophet of God, and he died in the 20th century. So let's address that too. You see, whatever denomination of Islam you belong to, we all believe that the need for prophethood continues after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is a fact. If Mr. Hijab doesn't believe that the need for prophethood continues after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then why do he and other non Ahmadi Muslims? await the re-advent of Jesus, peace be on him, as a prophet. The only difference is that Ahmadi Muslims believe that that need would be fulfilled by a person who would be a perfect follower of Islam, of the Qur'an, and of the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. Whereas non-Ahmadi Muslims believe that Jesus, peace be on him, who did not become a prophet through the blessing of Muhammad, peace be on him, will lead mankind in the latter days. We believe that the Prophet Muhammad's spiritual influence is final, and His Holiness Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, on whom be peace, was not an independent prophet, but attained his station of prophethood by becoming a perfect reflection of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. Indeed, we believe that no station or rank can be attained except as a reflection of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him, as per the verse of Surah Nisa, A'udhu Billah Min Shaitan Rajim. Whoso obeys Allah and this messenger, shall be among those on whom Allah has bestowed his blessings, namely the prophets, the truthful, the martyrs and the righteous, and excellent companions are these. Chapter 4 verse 70. This is the essential difference between Ahmadi Muslims and Sunni or Shia Muslims in reality. We believe that the Prophet Muhammad peace be on him finished and made redundant all spiritual teachers before him, and that any spiritual teacher who comes now must be a pupil and a student of Muhammad peace be on him. This does not violate him being the seal or the finisher of the prophets, because it is only his prophethood continuing through his perfect followers. Indeed, we believe that it is none other than the Prophet Muhammad's spiritual influence that raised Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad on whom be peace to the station of prophethood, and which lives on through him. This is not just our interpretation, by the way. This is the interpretation of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. This is why the Prophet of Islam is described in the Qur'an, in Surah Al-Jum'ah, as coming back to the world again among another people who would not be Arab. The Prophet himself interpreted this to refer to a man of Persian descent, as is recorded in Sahih Bukhari, Kitab al-Tafsir. You see, Mr. Hijab, however, believes that the Prophet Muhammad's spiritual influence on his followers is finished. Moses was such a powerful prophet, they believe, that by following his teaching for 30 years, Jesus became a prophet of God, but that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his spiritual influence, God forbid, has expired. Such that when the need for prophethood arises in his ummah, he has to borrow from the ummah of Moses for the needs of his people. And he believes Jesus, peace be upon him, was before, during, and after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both physically alive and spiritually still to benefit mankind. Here was a prophet the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, could not finish. 
He believes, not realizing it perhaps, that the teaching of Muhammad peace be upon him is weak and ineffectual, and that he was neither the Khatam al nor the Khatim al neither the seal of the prophets nor the finisher of past prophets. Instead, they attribute both of these qualities to Jesus of Nazareth, on whom be peace, whose physical existence could not be finished, and whose spiritual influence could not be made redundant. In this, they have adopted St. Paul's doctrines, that Jesus is the saviour of humanity, not the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Muhammad Hijab, if you want to have a discussion about these matters and about Ahmadi Islam, you don't have to go all the way to Toronto. We're right here in London too. That's all for today and stay tuned. In our next video, we're going to review Muhammad Hijab's attacks on the prophecies of the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, and demonstrate where he goes wrong. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon you all.